Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is Daniel and you're watching Daniel Sells Online. Now, this week I want to talk about how to sell on eBay, but more specifically give you some strategies and some tips that will help you get started selling on eBay. And if you're a beginner, this video is for you. So stay tuned until the end and hopefully you find this information to be very helpful. And that is really one of the main reasons why I decided to start my channel because I am one of those individuals that came across YouTube, learned about what is drop shipping, and pretty much it was my gateway into selling online for the first time. And at the beginning, there were a lot of frustrations because it just wasn't clicking. I was consuming the information, but there was a component that was missing. Um, everything wasn't coming together, you know, like the people who are um, showing us how to drop ship. And basically I had a lot of missteps. Um, it was very slow and, and painful uh, to say the least, but eventually I did get the hang of it and I was able to sell a sizable amount of products over the past year. Just like you, I am someone that learned this whole business model from buying a course. And I do want to say that the course, although it helped me get started, it really left a, a void of, of knowledge um, even after I completed it because I had the, the skills to set up my store and maybe list some products but there really wasn't anything else for me to kind of um, know what path to follow in, in order to really make the store very uh, successful. But if you're a beginner and you want to go ahead and try retail drop shipping, my first recommendation is stop using Walmart, Home Depot, or any other of the big box retailers that everybody knows about because you're just going to be fighting for very small, small margins and you're not really going to get that sales velocity that you actually need in order to make a lot of money because what's going to happen is your prices are going to be so low that there is not going to be any room for profits and if you can't make any profits then you really can't invest in scaling your store eventually you're going to want to hire some virtual assistants that's going to cost you money eventually you're going to want to invest on some software to help you automate your business if you're not making any profits, you cannot buy any software. So if you already bootstrap and you don't really have any money to put in into the business in the beginning, then you're not going to be able to grow and you're going to be disillusioned very quickly and you're going to want to quit and give up and that's not what you want the outcome to be. So here's the best way to sell on eBay using the drop shipping method is be different. Have a different offering to your customer. If you see someone that is selling a frying pan, well, offer something different. Maybe a different color frying pan. Maybe offer the frying pan with some other item that you can bundle together and make it look different. Make the offer something that the customer wants to buy because the days of just copying the item from another store and putting it up for sale on eBay are long gone. All those people who were doing that sniping method already have been selling on eBay for many years and a lot of their listings are the first ones to come up on eBay search. So they already have that real estate space that they'll be one of the first listings to come up while your listing is probably be all the way in the bottom or maybe even in the second or third page. So be different offer the customer something unique and that's going to get yourself on eBay dropshipping. Now you ask yourself, so then what do I do? So if I want to sell on eBay, what are my options? So here's my recommendation to, to all of you who want to get started selling. I think that in 2021, dropshipping from big box retailers 
is still a viable path to get you started. To get you started, eventually you want to graduate and stop using uh, retail big, big box stores and start looking towards actually forming relationships with wholesale suppliers. The last piece of advice that I want to leave you with goes back to one of my earlier points and that's going to be forming relationships with wholesale companies so that you can go ahead and purchase their products and resell them on eBay. I really believe that in 2021 you can still be successful drop shipping but you're going to want to work with actual wholesale suppliers to really take advantage of the pricing and also to be different because not everyone will take the time to set up a wholesale account a lot of times in order to set up an account you do need a resale license you may also need an LLC so that the company knows that you are a legitimate business so the barriers to entry are a lot more difficult and for those reasons many people will not take the time to actually learn and try to sell so, um, products uh, through wholesale suppliers so that right there is an advantage for you because if you take the time create the relationships create a legitimate business then you'll have access to these wholesale companies and you'll be able to sell products that many people are not able to sell and that right there will put you in a better position to be more successful drop shipping in 2021 if you want to learn more about how to form wholesale relationships and find wholesale suppliers for your eBay drop shipping business, please let me know on the comment section down below. I would love to make more content around wholesale. I myself am moving a lot more towards wholesale drop shipping and doing less and less of retail drop shipping. Guys, I really think this is the future for long term growth and success. Listen to my warnings. Believe me, I am right. You're going to be a lot safer selling on eBay if you're using wholesale companies and you're just going to be able to have more opportunities to sell, a lot less competition and even better pricing so you get a lot bigger margins. So I thank you for watching and staying all the way to the end. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And also please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. That way we get the video out to more people and to help the YouTube algorithm, which in turn is gonna help my channel continue to grow. Once again, I appreciate your support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week with a brand new video.